After almost 28 years in a farm, it's moved to its new temporary location where the restoration work will begin. The first job was to remove the top part of the transom, as it was found to be rotten. Using the old one as a template, a new one was cut out out of African mahogany. A new deck beam is made, and this would also serve to support the new transom. This has to be carefully shaped to give the curvature, or the camber, of the boat. Once the new piece is fitted, it is then cut around the top to give the curvature. One saw can then be planed and sanded to give the final shape. Our launch is drawn by bigger boats in the same yard. The top sides are cleaned down and given a quick coat of paint just to protect them for the short time before the planks are finally removed. Inside, the buildings were cleaned out and painted. The launch was moved again, this time to its new location where the major restoration work will be begin. Once at its new location, the stem, top and middle was removed. A plywood template was made to get the shape. With the template, it was then marked out on a piece of seasoned English oak. At almost 4 inches thick, it was a slow sawing process. Once sawn out, the bottom stem was ready to go in after some test fitting. New stem bolts are made and tested before fitting. The stem will be bedded with a mixture of putty and paint. Once painted in and fastened, the new stem bolts can be then fitted. The top stem is also bedded in with putty and paint. Oh, that didn't do her any good. Oh, no, no. A damp conditions, wet under thing. Yeah. It's a wonder she, she's still in the condition she can be put back again. The old place up there. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. And she was up the back in the in the bowl. Sure. Yeah. The stem is then fastened as before. From inside the boat, it is bolted with nuts and washers. Once both parts are fitted, it can then be shaped to size. <laughs> 